In this lesson, we're going to spend some time working with uh, JSON data that's a little more complex than the last example that we looked at. So uh, in the previous uh, lesson, we built this app that essentially read in uh, and displayed um, different cities um, uh, using a, uh, a web service that returned um, essentially just a string of, uh, of city names. And instead, what I want to do is use um, something that's going to look a little more like this. Uh, so here is a Twitter search using hashtag NBC fail. Uh, and that data is a lot more complex um, and more typical of what uh, we would expect to receive from uh, a JSON call. So here is that same data. Uh, I put it into a pretty printer. And uh, you see here that we have um, several fields that are returned plus a results array. And that results array is the piece that we're most interested in. We want to get each one of the items um, out of uh, this. And in, in particular, I want to um, grab the, uh, the text from each one of these uh, and display that. OK, so uh, we're going to do that uh, here in this example. So let me go over to uh, Titanium. And uh, we're going to make a modification to this, uh, um, to this, this code here. And uh, a couple of things I want to do. I want to change this, uh, uh, what's displayed in the detail window to tweet. So this is the, the data that's being um, displayed. I don't think we need to make any change to uh, to the list win, um, we'd made the change that we needed last time here. Uh, but I do need to make a change to, uh, to this code. And in particular, what I need to do is um, I, need to, uh, I need to change uh, the address that's being called. And then I need to change how the data is actually, um, actually processed. So let me first start with uh, changing the uh, uh, changing the address uh, and essentially we're going to use this URL here and so let me pull that out of the way and let's replace this call here that data and then uh, the next piece that I need to do is uh, you see here that uh, we read in the uh, the response text I'm going to change the name of the variable here to tweets Um, same thing here. And then instead of cities.length, I need to change this tweets.results.length. Uh, and the results is the, um, that's the piece here. So uh, let's see. Yeah, so it's the, uh, the results are here. That's the array. And so I want to get the length of that array. And so I'm just going to refer to that directly um, using the results piece. So all that data that gets read in is put into text. We're parsing that into this tweets. So this is going to be the entire document. Um, and then we're looking for the results array within that and, and then finding the length. Um, and then for this piece here, I need to say tweets.results at i. And then I need the, uh, the text portion of that, um, um, of that array. So I'm going to make this part text. And that should be everything. So the thing I want you to notice here is that uh, since we're using JSON and using this parser, that everything ends up being put into a structure um, that we can address um, directly uh, with, our, um, with our code. So if I, for instance, uh, didn't want the results, I uh, didn't want the text piece of the results, uh, but instead wanted to display the, uh, the from user part, I could do that by just changing um, this from text to from user. So anyway, so let's start with the text piece of it. Let's run this, and then we'll, we'll make some changes. Um, all right, so running this in the, uh, the simulator. 
and I'll just take a moment for it to compile and then display and then here is the it should come up here in a moment unless I have done something wrong with um, with my code um, it seems that maybe oh yeah I have an issue there it's not it's running too many simulators at once let's try this again okay so there's my uh, um, there's my my code um, or the the list and I can select one of these and it'll display in the next screen okay so uh, and again let me uh, let me change this slightly um, let's uh, let's make this data um, so that it puts both the text and the user the tweets dot results and I dot from user Okay, so that's going to be pushed onto the, the data, and then I want to display that um, differently here. I want to put, um, I want to change this to user dot from, and then change this to text. That's what I did over here, right? Or did I call it name? Uh, text and then from okay so that's what's displayed there and oh in the detail I probably need to add something here row dot user and finally under detail I need to change this to user actually city should probably be um, uh, this should probably be text and then I'm going to create another label here actually a few more changes made here text and then var from equals ti dot ui dot create label Text is uh, user left twenty and top called sixty. And then we'll add this also. All right. So, um, so the big change here really is the part right here where we're grabbing. Uh, not just the text, but also the user, but using that same addressing scheme. Um, and then I'm just going to display this all into my, um, into the detail window when it finally all comes up. If I've coded everything correctly. All right, so there's the, those are the tweets. Um, and then we have uh, added the user in there as well. Um, and probably some other things that I could obviously be changing but anyway so that's the uh, that's the whole thing I, again it's really easy to be able to read um, uh, Twitter data or any type of JSON structured data um, so you're going to have something that looks like this where you have uh, a number of fields you might have an array uh, in this case we're wanting to pull the things out of the array uh, and then um, just kind of addressing them directly uh, using um, this dot notation. So anyway, so that uh, that concludes the, this lesson on using uh, JSON for um, uh, and using titanium for accessing JSON data.